The internet is full of bro signs, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and today I am going to talk about night falls. Yes, you need to know what are night falls. They are also called wet dreams, lucid dreams or involuntary ejaculation. This can happen in males as well as in females, yes. And in medical language, it is called nocturnus, nocturnal emesis, right? Nocturnal emesis. Nocturnal is means nighttime and emesis is ejaculation, ejection, right? So what is this problem, right? What exactly is this? How it is defined? Who, what causes it? How common is it? Uh, and if you have it, do you need to worry? Right? Because there are so many myths around this problem that people actually say that this night falls can cause a lot of bad stuff and they are selling their products and plans and diet plans etc etc. So many myths are going on so it's time for you to know the truth. So let's start. <laughs> Night falls or nocturnal emesis, what is it? The most important question. If you find some wet sticky spot on your underpants and pajamas in the morning, right? And or if you are uh, getting awakened by a sexual dream and then you find this kind of wet spot on your underpants and pajamas and you know that it's not urine and you're worried what it is, it might be semen, it might be uh, wetness, vaginal wetness, yes. So, what is it? Why is it called? Right? This is basically uh, night falls and you are worried, you are embarrassed, right? Many of uh, people are actually afraid whether they have any infection, any life-threatening condition, right? It's a big, huge problem in youngsters not exactly having night fall but the psychological factor associated with light fall and the lack of knowledge most importantly and one big problem is that the internet is full of bullshit knowledge about so many uh, wrong stuff including night falls right so let's try and understand if you are having this night fall that nocturnal ms is finding these kind of wet spots what is wrong with you right is there anything wrong with you and why is it caused Right. First, let's understand why is it caused. Right. This problem of nightfall is caused by two things. Number one is sexual dreams. Right. You're basically having sexual dreams in your desire, lucid dreams, like right? also called wet dreams. Right. So everyone has sexual dreams sometime or the other, and that's why almost everyone will have a nightfall at least sometimes in their life. That's the commonness of this problem. 97% of people will have this problem and this problem is absolutely normal. It's not a problem at all. Rather, it is associated with high levels of sexual hormones. When during puberty, during your teenage, teenage years, during 13 to around say 17 years when your actual puberty starts your testosterone in males it peaks and your estrogen in female peaks and you start having sexual desires your secondary sexual characters grow you start having feeling for another other sex person you start having sexual dreams and at that time almost everyone has nightfall with a few exceptions right some might be exception, but almost everyone has night falls. Almost everyone has night time boners, erection of penis, right? Even orgasms in the night, in the middle of the night, involuntary, right? You might have that. Everyone faces this problem. This is not a problem. It's a normal thing. It basically marks the beginning of puberty in males. Can you imagine that? Yes. 
in males as well as in females. It marks the beginning of puberty. But in females, right, there is a thing because obviously if you are actually having a, a, a sexual dream, right, you might just have a boner and you might not have an orgasm, you might not ejaculate. But if you do ejaculate, if you do have a boner, then you might get up immediately after having that orgasm or you might sleep it off, right? You might sleep through it, right? But in cases of female, vaginal wetness can also happen because of other reasons, right? And that's why if a female has sexual dream and has vaginal wetness and then after orgasm, she wakes up, right? That is called a wet dream, that is called a nocturnal MSS in cases of females. But in males, you might wake up, you might not wake up. If you are having that sticky spot in your underpants, it's nightfall, it's nocturnal MSS. Right? You might have a boner. And it's as common, as normal as having a boner whenever you see something sexy. Whenever you see something exciting, you get excited. Is that a problem? Is that a disease? No. That's the thing. Nocturnal MSS and night falls is not a disease it's normal it will be there when your hormones are high right when you're new to the stuff when you are not experienced in it or when your hormones are high your hormones are high in puberty your testosterone is high your estrogen is high in females and you will have sexual dreams and you will have sometimes it is stimulated by rubbing of uh, uh, self rubbing in the night involuntary and then rubbing of bed sheets or blankets or uh, in your uh, area sexual area and you might get a boner right so this is the basic reason it is not something to be embarrassed of it is just as embarrassing as a boner in public area but it is not something abnormal it is not a disease it's not an infection it's not a cancer you're not going to die Nobody is going to die because of this. It's normal and it will go away slowly. Go away on its own. As your hormonal level declines with age, as your sexual experience increases, right, your sensitivity decreases and this will slowly go away. That's it. Right? It is not related to any disease it is it's it's it, it, this problem has so many myths going around if you will actually go to the internet and type this problem there is not even one place where proper knowledge has been given so if you will go to the internet and search about night falls nocturnal MSs, there are so many sites so many so-called fake doctors and so many so-called sexologists who say so many bullshit things just to sell you their plans, sell you their product, lure you into their own uh, clinics, etc, etc. It's not a disease. It's as common as having a boner, getting excited after seeing a sexual song or something which is sexually appealing to you. And it increases by hormones and that's why bodybuilders have it more. Because they are exercising and increasing their testosterone. Many of them are taking testosterone boosters. And if you are boosting your testosterone, your sexual desires also boost, your sexual dreams also boost, you will also have wet dreams and night falls. It's normal. Right? Over time, it will decrease. As your hormones get back to normal, they will decrease. This is the basis of... Uh, this night falls. Even if you see research over it, somebody who is not taking any supplements, right, testosterone booster supplements, and they have uh, a normal level of nightfall, like something like 17%, it increases to 90% who actually use testosterone supplements. It's related to your hormones, right? It's related to your dreams, your feelings, sexual desires. So it's not related to masturbation, right? Some people, Patani, some of them say that uh, if you increase, if you masturbate a lot, you will have nightfall. No, it's not related. If you masturbate a lot, you might not have nightfalls because obviously you are decreasing your sensitivity. It's a myth. Then they, some people say if you watch a lot of porn, then you will have nightfalls. It's unrelated. It's related to your sexual feelings and your hormones. Right? If you watch a lot of porn, you might get desensitized. You might not get excited after seeing a naked girl or somebody else. So how would you have nightfalls if you not even have a boner? 
So it's not related to masturbation, not related to porn, not related to diet, not related to infection or any disease. It is not a side effect of any medicine, diabetes, obesity, lifestyle. It is not because of weak nerve, not because of prostate gland congestion. It is not because of your inability to control your emotions. It's not a disease. It's not a problem. It does not cause any laziness problem. It does not decrease your libido by itself. It does not decrease the sensitivity sensation in your genital. It does not cause burning sensation. Right? It is absolutely normal thing. It does not affect your body in any way. Only your mind can be affected because you are embarrassed, because you are feeling guilty. That's it. Because you don't know the truth. That's it. And because people tell you wrong things. That's it. It's not wrong. You don't need any supplement. You don't need to follow a diet plan. Obviously, being healthy is important. So you need to, that is a different case. But this, it has nothing to do with this. It's as normal as having a bona. Right? And yes, sometimes you might touch yourself because of this in the night involuntarily. And then in that case, you might have a UTI, urinary tract infection because of unhygienic conditions. That is a totally different thing. So that's why you don't have to worry about nightfalls. Just accept it. Let it happen. And as you progress in your age, as you get more experience sexually, you will stop having this nightfall. It doesn't matter even if, if you are married or you are, you are masturbating. If you are having sexual experience, you will have low, decreased nightfalls. So please don't worry about nightfalls and don't uh, get worried because of people say wrong things to you, right? Uh, study about it if you want to. It's also called nocturnal MSS. You can go to important uh, reliable sites like PubMed and study and don't go to bullshit website uh, reading about it. That's the advice on Dr. Paranjit. I'm a consultant physician and cardiologist. There are more videos related to these topics on my channel, Erectile Dysfunction. There is a video on premature ejaculation. There is a video on infertility, low sperm count. Whole series is there. Don't forget to watch them. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and share this video. Don't hesitate. I know it's a sensitive topic. It's a little bit, but you don't have to hesitate because there are people worried. There are people worried and there is no one to give them proper guidance, real knowledge, nobody, right? You can go online and search nightfall. You won't see even one medical article proper from a doctor because from actual doctor, from bullshit doctors, there are so many there. So many wrong information is there. So please share, please subscribe and please comment and let me know how you feel about this video. I'm Dr. Paranjit and you're watching Dr. Education. Stay connected, stay healthy.